Hello, I'm Zardis, and let's play City Skylines. Today, we in this beginner's guide, we have a lot to do. We are going to be expanding a lot over here. We have just reached the uh, busy town milestone, and we unlocked nine more map tiles, or we have nine more expansion permits that we can use to unlock nine more map tiles. We're going to do that, and we're going to really focus on expanding the city. Uh, we also got seven development points. I'm not sure yet if we'll use those this episode, but uh, we did get ore mining is the big thing at this milestone. We're not going to use it today. We're going to hold off on that because... I really want to get building out and we to get to big town we need like 14,000 more experience points so we've got a lot to do but what I want to do like I said is I want to buy tiles we have nine tiles we're gonna go one two three four five six seven eight nine and that is really going to give us a lot of space we want to get a lot of residential in here we're going to expand our downtown here so we're going to go ahead and purchase that. And that gets us going. Let's go ahead and unpause so that we can just see a lot going on here. And first, I am going to then extend. Well, uh, yeah, we'll extend the key a little bit. Actually, let's get the historic bridge in. So the bridges, if we come over in here, we have a few different bridges. We have the four lane tiered arch bridge that we can think about, or we could do a Grand Bridge. I think maybe let's do the Grand Bridge. Okay, so we are going to use some development points. If we go to roads and then come out this way, we need to get, we're going to use two, four, that'll be sips, 14 points to get to a Grand Bridge, but it will be a landmark of the city. And we're going to do it. Yep. Large roads, intersections, and grand bridge so let's see what we've unlocked here large roads will give us this here we have sips lane roads we have all the way up to an eight lane road eight lane divided road in fact and then we can do some really big one ways that we could use to have like gigantic amounts of traffic on a single road then we have a sips lane divided uh road we're a bridge, and then we've got eight lane divided cable state bridge and a golden gate bridge. If you have bought the uh, deluxe pack or pre ordered, I don't remember what you do to qualify for that. But then we also got intersections, which are technically just interchanges. So they're like the pre built interchanges that we can use. But what we wanted was to get this grand bridge, and we will go ahead and build that. So what we want to do is we're going to bring this across here. And it's interesting because we are going to have, I mean, we've got the highway bridge there, but this is going to be the older style thing. Wow, this is a beautiful bridge here. We want to make sure that we have it set about uh, there, but I don't want it that high. Let's go ahead and change the elevation step. We'll get this maybe 15 meters high will be what we want here. That'll be only 9,000 to build it. So we could build it and then move it if we want. Actually, I do like that. Let's take a look at this. So, uh, by the way, if you hit the, uh, the tilde button on your keyboard, the one that is to the left of the one, you can hide the user interface and get a better look here. But I think this will work really well. It comes up, it's that old bridge, and I think that'll be really great. Yeah, I think that is a good height, actually. So with the bridge there, what we want to do is we're going to bring it down. This road, we're going to say, was the original road going into the bridge. So we need to figure out how to align that just right. So I've been looking at this and thinking about how I want to do this, and I really like this road coming down in here. And so I think what I want to do is bring the bridge or the, the road from the bridge all the way down here and have it join in elsewhere. So let's go ahead and grab a four lane road. We're going to come from here. and We want to bring it down. So we'll be at about 180 degrees to decide i mean we're going to have an issue with that road there but if we bring this in 
to here, we can get the road there. And then we can bring it to there and start to come down. Yeah, so then we've got a nice approach to that. And then here, we just want to bring this down either, I think what I want to do, because a lot of the business is over in here. So this road is going to curve around this way, I think. Yeah, because this is the main road. And maybe what we do is we even bring it right into that road. So if we click here and then come down like that and then curve this way, that's kind of what I want to do is come down here, but it doesn't really like that shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit B to bulldoze this street. It's not letting me. I'm not really sure why it's not letting me bulldoze my own street here. It's mad about this street here. So I guess we'll take that one out and that one. I mean, we've got the game pause, so we can do all of this. So, and then we're going to come in here and we want to grab in the center here, about there, I guess. And now the road tool is mad. You know, some of these things happen every once in a while. There's a, a lot of little bugs in the game, of course. And we're, we are all aware of that and what we're dealing with with it. But I will go ahead and bring this like that. And then we can come back in. And this road can go straight in here. But it really doesn't want to. So bring it down like that. And I guess that'll be the end of that road. And then we can bring a road this way. Just to give those homes access there. Okay, so now we've got this in here. I mean, these buildings are going to respawn, but we've got this. It leads into downtown. And honestly, I'm a little bit tempted to make this a one-way street heading in, but I think, but and then we'd have a one-way coming out this way and eventually get more commercial here. It might be worthwhile to come in and not with that one, but with a three lane. If we go like this, and then click and drag in the direction that we want. Yeah, we can get a one way here. And then this can be a one way going the other way. And then here we'll have a one way here as well. And so we'll do one. Oh, look at that film actor mansion. Very good. So then we'll bring one ways this way too. Now, one thing that that did is it took away a lot of parking downtown. So we are probably going to have some parking issues. So we're going to preempt that by just adding a small parking lot here and maybe a medium parking lot over here just to get a little bit more parking downtown there. Okay, so now we've got that bridge in place. We can start planning out some of the other side. But the other thing I want to do is I want to get this key as close to that bridge as I can. And of course, I'm going to do that off camera because it is always tricky and it takes a lot of, uh, you know, uh, trying trial and error. That's the word I'm looking for. OK, I am glad that I did that off camera because it took me like 10 or 15 minutes just to get that in there. I had to redo the entire thing just because the the way this works is just not really well done. I mean, the the water is an issue because whenever you're building right by the water, it becomes a, a problem. And then we also had, I couldn't get it close enough to the bridge to get it quite the way that I wanted it. But anyway, we're going to bring this road and this can actually be our waterfront road. It's not going to be a key all the way over here, but here it will be. So we've got this bridge coming in this way and we're actually gonna end up having to do a key on this side too. But I want, first of all, the four lane bridge to come in here and we're going to look at the terrain. We're going to flatten this out a bit. Not too much, but I want to, let's see if we soften that. Yeah, that's as soft as it's going to get. Let's level it to about here or like get a little bit of a flat space in here. Not quite flat. I mean, right now it, it is flat what we're doing here. But I want to build it out like that, and then we will soften just a little bit right in here at the shoreline and a little bit like that. So we do have a little bit of a hill, but we've got some space to work with. And what I want then is we're going to bring this road 
at ground level. And actually what we'll do is we'll bring this one, this is going to curve right in. Let's do this. Get it to curve like that and be uh, like a 6% slope there going up into the bridge, up and over and back down to the other side of what is essentially the downtown. And then this road can come straight that way. And then we've got space to do another grid in here. And this, I, I want this land to be flat a little bit more here. It's the wrong tool. There we go. So we'll bring that out this way. And then this road, I think we'll curve out this way eventually. And maybe even bridge over there as well. But we'll get it nice and smooth over here. Yeah, and then smooth this out on this side. And like I said, this road will be straight here. And then we will curve it along like that. Okay, so then our grid on this side is going to be pretty simple. Uh, what size do we have over here? I think we'll kind of do the same thing. This is 112 by 112, I believe. Yeah. The ideal size for a downtown area for as large buildings as we can get. And we will start that about here, I think. 112 by 112. All right. So off camera, I'm going to redo that and build or like uh, do the same thing and just build all the way out in here. Okay, so I cut a little bit farther into the hill, so now we're going to soften this out on this side, like that, and then we're going to decide what other arterial we want, and I think what I want to do is I actually, I mean, first of all, we're going to get an arterial splitting off this way, and I think what we'll do is we'll bring one out here. And this can continue down underneath the big bridge and underneath the highway. Ah, it doesn't quite fit where I wanted it. Okay, so we're going to take this back out. And instead, we'll come down here. We'll get it under the highway. We can fit in there. I know we can. There we go. And then underneath there. Yeah, so that'll be the road that goes out and goes along there, and then we'll get low density, or we'll get some other stuff out that way. And I think what I want to do, actually, is elevate this highway farther, kind of like what we did over on this side, and we're going to extend the grid in there as well. So I'm going to, again, off camera, I'm just going to elevate this, and I think what we'll do, of course, is we'll come in here right away, and we'll get a node right here by double-clicking, and a node right here and then pause the game and take the highway out in here. Okay, and now I'm not actually doing this off camera like I said I would do, but that took out way more than I thought it was going to do. That was not what I wanted, but okay. I guess I will rebuild the highway. Okay, and after much frustration of the way things were going with how I built it, I did get this in. So now we can come in and, like I said, we're going to extend the grid in this way. I did uh, actually end up lowering the ground even further, so now we've got this pretty steep hill that we're going to have to work with. But for now, I just I want to get this grid farther out, so we're going to do that first. So one thing we're going to do at this point is we are going to put this power line underground. So we are above ground all the way over to here. We're going to pause the game because we're cutting off power and we're going to take this out all the way into downtown and then across here as well. Of course, we've got an underground power line here. We'll go ahead and take that one out as well. And we'll go to the edge of our map currently and we'll come in here and we'll just do underground and then we can just do a straight line over to here and that'll work so we've still got power we will unpause the game and i'll get back to my road building
Okay, and now at this stage, there's a couple things I want to do. One, I want to get another arterial over here. And two, I want to build an interchange over here. So what we're going to have is actually an issue in that we're going to have a pretty steep off ramp, I think. And I'm not going to be able to build it all the way because we're going to have to extend out into that tile. So what I think I'm going to do is just put a temporary uh, interchange in here. So we're going to come down at 15%. I don't like that. Let's go ahead. Maybe we'll build the arterial first. So I want an arterial over here that maybe goes along with the grid. And in fact, I think that's what we'll do. We'll bring this grid out just a little bit further. Say another one block, which would be 112 meters. And then at this point, we will get the that should be 112 meters to there. Beautiful. Okay. So then we can come in here with our arterial and put it like that. And then we can know that this is where, where this will go all the way out that way. And it will curve in. What I want to do is go another block this way. If we can, 112. Yep. Okay. And then we are going to curve that one and then we'll get the grid the rest of the way in here so that's how i want it to look on this side and what we'll do then is for now we're going to bring just one lane off the highway here and bring that straight down into here and it's not going to be pretty it's yeah almost a 10 percent grade there but it is going to get access here and that's what we want. We want to get that in there and then probably bring another one maybe here and curve around. But again, it's not something that is urgent right now because we are still building this out. And once we get more tiles, we'll redo this. So I'm going to build something here. It's again, not going to be the prettiest interchange that I've ever built, but it will work. I am so excited to partner with Apex Gaming PCs to bring you a custom line of gaming PCs named after some of the, my most popular series. I've worked with their team to put together an amazing setup for playing games like City Skylines. There's a link to see the full line in both the description below and the pinned comment. Oh, and be sure to use the discount code ZARDIS to receive up to $250 off your purchase. And I've been completely screwing this up. I, I had a vision in my mind and it did not come to fruition the way it was supposed to. And I'm like, what is happening here? And of course, you know, every once in a while, when whenever you're playing a game like this, you just don't get it right. And that's what was happening with me. I kind of want to do this where the way in is here and then we'll just we'll loop this around. Say like this way and then come down over this way. We might end up in a tunnel there. Or just something weird. Yeah, you know, like I said, this is temporary. Please don't look at it. Please don't have judged what I just built. It is what it is. But once we have another tile here, then we'll make something prettier. But I wanted to have access here so that we can work with it. But now we're going to come back with our medium road some more, and we're going to build this out into the hill. So we're going to bring this up, and we want to watch that grade. Here, actually, we'll bring it a little bit farther this way. And then, yeah, 5%. I'm totally fine with a 5% grade coming up the hill here. 
And I want to watch the trees here a little bit. Maybe we'll keep it on this side of the trees. But this can come all the way over here. And then we hand planned another bridge here. So this bridge, I'm actually not going to do any iconic thing or anything like that. But I do want to try to keep the ground or the the slope about a solid slope. 5% down, maybe. Yeah, actually, that isn't too bad. Pretty much, yeah. I'm okay with that. Maybe, though, what we'll do is we'll just have this be a little bit of a smooth slope there. Of course, it's mad about being in water. Again, just a general complaint there. Okay, so that comes in just fine. We've got another bridge down the the river then. This arterial will work well, and we'll get residential in there, and then the same thing over on this side. This one, though, is going to be a little bit harder to build because it is a bit steeper here, and if we go this way, that's, you know, 14 15%. We can't do that. But we can do 6% there. I'm really not quite sure what the game thought it wanted to do there, or like why it wanted to do that. When we could just, you know, get a nicer slope here, guys. Let's do that, and then we can just, I don't know, do something easier here. I, uh, so I want this to come up on this side. 9%, okay, yep, yeah, we'll take that. And then just be up like that. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, okay, so let's get this last part of the grid in. From here to here. Okay, and then what I want to do is here we're going to have another arterial. So it is going to be kind of a busy spot there. But we'll bring this and maybe... I mean, that's a pretty straight angle there. If we could just get it like that, that would be beautiful. Like a nice angle, but it doesn't want to do that intersection right here. Unless I do it this way. And then here, what I want to do is just have a little bit of a better curve into an intersection here between the two of them. Let's get that snapping off so I can get it just about to the right spot here. Yeah, I like that. And then we've got a little bit, bit of a weird intersection there, but that should be fine. And then, of course, another spot here. Let's just throw in a roundabout. And that should work well. And then one more thing over in here. We can extend this out a little bit further. Bring that in and bring this into 112. Right about, well, actually, I don't want it there because we've got some nice zoning along there. So what I will do instead is we will bring, we'll turn snapping back on and we'll bring it out here. And then we'll get a nice curve there. So we'll come down this way and curve like that. So we did break up a tiny bit of the zoning, but not too much. And that is going to be downtown east. So I will go... What happened to our power line? Oh, we've got another underground power line coming out this way. And over to... Oh, we disconnected our... Okay. We're going to build this out this way then. There. So now we are exporting power again. Okay. Now that we've got a lot in here, I'm going to do the grid. We're going to do the uh, district here. And downtown east is going to end here at this street here and come all the way down this way and turn off snapping. I like to do the districts without snapping on. It's just a little bit easier. Bring it down like that. And just stay inside the city limits for now. And then bring it back together like that and then rename it. 
Okay, and then we want to have roadside parking. Yeah, $10. It's about the same as what we have at elsewhere. And what was I doing with this road out here? Oh, we do have a little bit of space to extend a tiny bit further, so we will do that. Bring that out, 112. And up. And down this way. And then bring it this way as well. We want it right in the center there. And here, actually, we might... I think what we'll do is we'll turn off the snap to grid lines. And that will allow us to go a little bit better here. Theoretically, it's not quite working. We'll go to 111 meters and we'll get an angled street coming in there. And then we can turn snapping back on and get it nice right here. Yep, that will work. Not perfect, but it will work. Okay, so we've got downtown east set up here. And what are we at? 12% unemployment, so we want more jobs. How are we doing with profitability? We have really good office profits, so we're going to add more offices. And they're going to go on this side. And I think what we'll do is we'll leave the main arterial for commercial, but we'll get offices right in there. Let that fill in. That should be pretty good. And we still don't have high, um, high density. We'll get that in a few milestones, but we can get these in here and then we'll be able to start like really getting more people over here. Right now we've got a lot of low density demand. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this arterial the rest of the way up the hill a little bit, and then we'll get some residential uh, subdivisions in here. So that will go like that. And then over here, let's see what we, I think downtown east is going to be a pretty dense area. So I feel like in here, we're going to get some uh, row homes. But what we will do is we will go ahead and follow the contour lines a bit because we do have a pretty big slope, particularly over there. Over on this side, it's not too bad, but over on the other side, it is. So we'll bring this along like this. And then we'll get another one here. Although I really, actually, I do want to extend more grid here because I want to have smaller row homes on this side. So what I think we'll do is we'll bring a grid off like this. It's going to be a different angle and it will be a smaller grid. Or what, what we might do is if we come to 112 still and then put an alley in the middle like there, that could work and bring that like down this way. But I don't want the zoning on the alley. So what we're going to do is we will build, build out the grid first. And although it's not really going to increase the density, I'm thinking allowed here is essentially what I'm doing by the way. But so maybe what we do is we just go here. Let's, let's build this out. If we build this, like that, just, you know, a straight road there. And then we can work through. That's going to be too shallow. That would be two by twos. I think I want three by threes, which would be here. Yeah, we can do three by three. What is this grid? This is 70. Okay. So then what we want to do is we want to go 70. We will turn off uh, grid lines and it's not quite letting me go to 70 here maybe we'll do 72 then and then this will come out that way actually 70 this way 72 72 by 72 what does that end up being I think actually what we want is 72 that way and then we're going to go 140 44 this way 
and then this can go all the way in. 72, 144. Yeah, that is going to work. So I'm going to extend that grid all the way in here. And also we're going to check that unemployment. Unemployment is going down, which is exactly what we want. Let's double check profitability. And I think we're going to go ahead and yep, add more office zoning in downtown east. So what we can do is we'll just fill that whole space. And then we'll get a little bit more over here. And eventually, I want a lot of that to be high density, but I'm going to go ahead and fill out the grid here. So now I've come to a little dilemma in that if I go this way, I feel like that 12% slope is more than what I want to do. I could go all the way here and it would be a 12% slope. It would be a pretty straight street and that would be, you know, an OK thing. Let's take a look at what it looks like. I mean, 12% isn't really all that bad. And maybe, you know, actually, I'm okay with that. Let's keep that. But what I am going to do is we're going to keep the, the grid here. We'll go 144. And we have to turn off our guidelines again. And it just it doesn't want me to go there, actually. Let's try over on this side. There we go. 144. And then we'll get uh, uh, 90 degrees this way. And that a little bit further. And then we should be able to get this one... There we go. And then this can come in right there. And that actually is pretty good. I like that. 144 and come this way. And how does that look? Yeah, I think I think that will be okay. I mean, we do have hills here and we want to work with those. What I did over here is I broke the grid a little bit and I want to bring in a pedestrian road here or not a pedestrian road, but a pedestrian path just to connect here to here. If we can, it's not going to be happy about it, but if we're careful about where we place it, it should be fine. Here we go. So yeah, pedestrians can walk up there. We actually don't want the crosswalk there. So we'll come in here and see if we can remove it. There we go. Because they can just walk around the street. And really, there's not going to be a ton there anyway. They'll probably stay on the side of the street. But you can see that now I like how this whole thing is shaping out and we'll get medium density in there. So that'll be kind of what the plan is. This road can come down here now. That that lined up beautifully. Really like that. We won't bring this one in here. But this will come down. And we want that to be 90 degrees on the other side. We'll just go ahead and go like that. And then we should be able to bring this one across. And this can come in like that. Yeah, okay. I'm going to finish this out. Okay, so we've got that filled in now too. So that will be our medium density. And how are we doing on unemployment? 10% again. So let's go ahead and just double check profitability again. We're at 71% for offices. So, I mean, that I think has been going down a little bit, but it's about where we want it to be. So let's go ahead and we'll get some more offices in there. And we'll get that in there too. So we can, we're getting more and more jobs over there. And we can actually, we'll get more over here too while we're at it. Let's go ahead and fill in there and there. A bit in here as well. Actually, that is the wrong type of zoning there. That all got messed up when I redid some of that key in there. So let's go ahead and we'll extend that out just a little bit further in case any buildings want to uh, respawn in there. And we'll get a little bit more down along this arterial too of commercial. So, I mean, we, we're getting a lot of jobs in there. We'll start to have more demand for other stuff soon, but I think now we'll come in here and we'll get some residential roads. And again, we're just going to, and here we're going to have low density. So we're going to follow the contour like we did before on the other side, and we'll get these built in. Okay, I'm pretty happy that with that. So a couple of things we're gonna do real quick is we're going to create a new district that will be 
over here, which will be our medium density area. It'll come all the way down to this arterial. And then we will create another one. And by the way, I need names for these. So I mean, we know downtown east, but I need a name for this district. So go ahead and suggest one in the comments. Currently sunny side gardens, which I don't think is quite fitting for a medium density residential area, but maybe it is. Maybe you disagree, but I'll leave a comment with a suggestion there. And then the same thing over on this side, we want to bring this in like that. And this district will just come all the way down here. I don't know where it will end up ending, but it'll be this little area here. So go ahead and that's Bedford Downs. So go ahead and give that a name. We're going to put some low density residential in here. And uh, maybe before we do that, we'll get a school in here just because we want to plan a little bit for this. We'll go ahead and turn off snapping so we can get this in a little bit off of the road. And maybe what we'll do actually, I mean, we've got a hill there, but if we put this here, it doesn't look too bad. And then we can just bring a road, a small road, in fact, uh, maybe even a one way right in front of the school like that. And then we can curve in here and curve out here. Yeah, that gives it just what we need. We want a playground in here and that should be good. So now we can come in and I'm going to fill this whole area with low density residential. Okay, so I put it in all the way, like all in here, except not at the corner because we're going to get just a little bit of commercial in because that is a pretty big intersection here. And we won't go that deep on this side because of the water. Go maybe like three deep there. Take those out and go that far with the commercial. So that can go in there. All of that is filling in very quickly with the um, low density residential. And now we've got most of that has filled in. We're going to go ahead and have this elementary school only serve this area. So now we don't want them to travel too far to get there and probably should do the same with some of our other schools. Like where do we have one? We've got one down here elementary school we actually will keep that there and servicing the whole area but we also look at this we've got a lot of people waiting for ambulances we've got high crime we've got issues so what we're gonna do right away in downtown east and we've got a good budget right now so i'm happy with that we're gonna come in here and actually i want to unlock can we get that we might not have enough points right now police headquarters is going to be two points Maybe we won't do that yet. I guess we're still pretty tiny. We'll just get another police station in here and turn snapping back on. We'll put that there and that should get a lot of, you know, get more police cars out on the streets. That should help a bit. And then we'll get another medical clinic over here as well. And that can go right in here, I think, if it will fit. That would be a beautiful spot for it off snapping again and then we should be able to very carefully put it right there it won't be able to be expanded i mean the extension wing yeah we won't be able to fit an extension wing anywhere we could put in an ambulance depot in fact let's go ahead and do that we'll get that there and then at the other one as well which i think i remember right is right here Yep, ambulance depot, we'll get that there. So now they've got more ambulances just to go and get to where they need to go. So that will be good. We are getting middle density uh, for residential now. So we can come in here and start to get some row homes where we wanted them. We'll go ahead and actually make sure that they are pointing in the right direction on the street here. Eventually we should be able to go all the way across here. Nope has really made them spawn weird. And I guess it doesn't matter too much. We can let them spawn the way they want to. 
As long as they're facing the way I want them on the street. And I just noticed that somehow we messed up the zoning. It is not three by three, it's four by three. So we could end up, if we wanted to, we could come in here and get an alley. And that should still keep, since we had things spawn already, it should keep the zoning on the main road. And that may actually look really great. Yeah, yeah, I really like how that's going to look. So that is what we are going to do in this area. Okay, so we will continue to add more residential in here because our unemployment is still a little below 10%. So that's what we want. But what we will do is, of course, come in and I'm going to duplicate this because I really like how that alley looks in here. I know it's going to make some of these houses mad, but it is what it is. Some of them will have to respawn. Some of them did not. So that's fine. But again, I just I love how this looks with a little bit of a backyard there. Of course, the hill doesn't really help too much. And ideally, they would have had like a garage back there, but that's OK. They might be able to park in the alley. I'm not quite sure if they can or not. It looks like they can't. I haven't seen anybody parked on the alley yet, but figure that out at some point and see if if they can. Then what we could do is turn off the parking on the main street, although I kind of like the parking on the main street, but it would be useful to have uh, trees there as well. But anyway. We will go ahead and get some zoning in here then. So we can go ahead and do three here, three deep there and three deep there. Get that going and then we can come in and get the alley extended farther. And that's the way to do it. That will get the alley in place and get the zoning on the proper side of the road. and. While we're doing that, we're going to be watching that unemployment rate. But also, while that is filling in, let's go ahead and add some parts too, because we don't have any parts over here and we want to get some uh, small playgrounds in or some small parts and things like that. Just to get a little bit more recreation in for these areas. Especially over in here. I mean, we've got the playground there. But we can come in and we'll get a couple more small playgrounds. I love how small the small playground actually is. It's very easy to fit it into like random spots. And that's really a great way to just add a little bit more recreation. And also, when you place it, you get 100 XP. Same thing with a small park, you get 100 XP for adding a small park so we can get a little bit more experience points without having to do too much. We'll go ahead and we'll put a plaza here and one on the other side of this road, just so it's kind of a different area there. And that added, again, just a little bit more XP and now that we are adding more residential in here and we have this set to only to be Bedford Downs, I want to get another elementary school over in here. And it's going to be a little bit difficult because they, it doesn't quite fit in the blocks that we built. But what we could do is we could take out a block or take out a little bit of a road. No, but it, it really does not want to fit in there. It's going to be a tight squeeze wherever we try to put it. So what I think we'll do is take this road out. Although I really like how that looks now. And I really like how this whole area is. It's just a shame because it doesn't quite fit the elementary school. So what we'll do is we'll take these ones out and it will fit right here. And then we can, of course, come back back in here and get our playground right there. And that should be pretty good. And this one can be set to Sunnyside Gardens and we'll grab, well, we'll save Downtown East for its own elementary school. But now we can get a little bit more 
uh, residential in here as we've been working on just a little bit at a time. We want to go this way and this way. And remember, I'm not doing the very edge to make sure that they're all pointing the same way. And then we can come in here and get those at the very edge and then we'll get the alley in place. Just being very careful about how we're doing this to make sure that things look exactly the way we want it. Of course, we're not, some of these are not filling in. Oh, we didn't fill that in yet. That's part of why. And that should still get them facing the right way and everything. Okay, we had another couple plots come in and we are at 9.9%. I'm going to go ahead and add more jobs again and I'm going to check here. We've got good office profit still. So we'll come in and we'll get more offices in our various downtown spots. I think what I'll do is finish out downtown west with office there. And then we'll get a little bit more in downtown east. At some point I want to get some residential i mean we'll we'll get some maybe high density residential along the edges or maybe on this side we'll figure some of that out as we get farther along and we get maybe taller office buildings but that will lower the unemployment rate and allow us to get even more into this sunny side gardens area speaking of which we will go ahead and do another block here and maybe we'll do two blocks Okay, now the other thing I want to do is I want to check on our fire coverage because I think we only have one fire station now. Yeah. We only have one down there. I'm going to add another fire station downtown east and we'll get that near the police station as well. So we'll just throw that in there and at some point we're going to get other, we'll get bigger ones in the downtown areas, the headquarters. But for now, this is really working out and I really, really, I can't say it enough how much I like how this is looking. But we'll go ahead and we'll do a few more blocks here. And those have filled in and our unemployment is still really good. So we're going to keep going here. And I think at this point, I'm feeling like we might be able to fill in all of this district. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. The uh, zoning gets a little bit weird here, but we're going to stick with our the way we've got. And this one actually goes to the other street. That's OK. We'll go in that direction for a tiny I like one one building should be fine this one actually here we're not going to have an alley there so we can just go ahead and fill this whole thing in there but hopefully they'll spawn the correct direction but anyway I'll go ahead and add these alleys in these spots And then that should be pretty good. Should be able to come in and get the rest of this zoned. And we'll see how all of that turns out. Some of this is not quite going the right direction. Yeah, these did not go the way I want them to. Well, part of it is this is those are going the wrong way. And we're just going to have to, well, actually here. Let me see if we take these out and then bulldoze them. And these two, I wanna see how much we can get it to go the right way. So here, I wanna make sure that these are this way. That can definitely not go the way we want it to. But this one, I think here, that building is gonna be the wrong way, but let's see what we get here.
And there we are at Big Town. We have reached our milestone. That's where we will leave it today. So be sure to click on the video on the screen now. It should be the next episode in the series. And if that's not out yet, then it will be another video that I guarantee you will enjoy. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Take care.